today's menu, a recipe so easy, even the biggest noodle head can make it. Easy Handmade Noodles Lei ho ma everyone, I'm Will Young. Did you know I have a Kickstarter project on the first ever vegan ramen cookbook? You can learn more in the link above. Now get ready to make your very own handmade noodles at home. Medium high heat, saucepan, a third cup water, half tablespoon baking soda, stir. The baking soda is what will give the noodles really nice elasticity. You can use a stand mixer with pasta attachments or use a hand crank pasta roller. 185 grams bread flour. Pinch of salt. When the water starts to bubble, turn the heat off. Slowly pour in the water while mixing. Mix for 5 to 10 seconds until the water is gone. Your dough is supposed to be fairly flaky and pretty dry. Knead the dough in the bowl for about 30 seconds. Knead the dough further on a flat surface for 1-2 to two minutes. Try your best to flatten out that dough as much as possible. That's really going to help out your pasta roller. Attach the pasta roller and start it on the widest setting. Feed the dough through the pasta roller. Fold the dough and feed it through the roller again. Feed the dough through a third time if needed to achieve a smooth sheet. Increase the setting to the next thinness. Feed the dough through and increase the thinness again. Feed the dough through and increase the thinness one more time to number 4. Feed the dough through one last time. Change out your roller to the spaghetti cutter. Slice your dough in half, which will be good for two portions of noodles.
Now before we start cutting the noodles, be ready with a long skewer like this or a chopstick. Feed the dough through the spaghetti cutter. Once you have your noodles, you have to be fairly quick and dust them with a little flour so they don't stick together. It's kind of like you're combing hair. Baking tray. Flour. Just get your hands in between all those noodles very gently. Now this part takes a little bit of practice. Just twirl into a nest. Rest the noodles on the tray to dry. Twirl the noodles gently to shape a nest. Let the noodles dry for three days, then flip them and dry for another three days. Now you can use a fan to help dry the noodles even faster. If not, and it all goes well, you have this amazing dry nest of incredible ramen noodles and it takes literally seven minutes to cook in boiling water. It's absolutely incredible to make your own noodles and from there, the possibilities are endless. Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss a single episode. Thank you for joining me on my channel. If you're interested in my vegan ramen cookbook project on Kickstarter, you can click the link here. Remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next episode.